Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India In today's class, let us know some recent scholars work on strengths and virtues. In this category, there are three groups. Number one, the value in action that is initial work on character strengths and virtues and that is a classification of strengths that is proposed by Peterson and Seligman in their book and these character strengths can be measured or can be assessed by the adult and youth version of value in action inventory of strengths. I will discuss about this inventory as well as how many items it has as well as you know it is uh, uh, validated in Indian setting uh, in Hindi as well as in English. So, all those things would be discussed in today's class. Second area on character strengths is explored by Clifton and his associates. The Gallup themes of talent they proposed and it can be measured by a Clifton Strengths Finder and the Clifton Youth Strengths Explorer. Third work which is again very important, it is uh, the search institutes 40 developmental assets in which they are saying that there are 40 developmental assets or the ways to promote character strengths. 20 out of them are internal and 20 out of them are external assets. Assets means the facilitator of our character strengths and they focused on this area identified these assets and these assets can be measured by certain scales search institute profile of students life attitudes and behaviors. So, let us discuss in detail in all three areas how they are explaining character strengths, talents or developmental assets one by one. First of all character strengths and virtues. However, I have discussed about character strengths definitions and all, but let us know once again what, what are the definitions of character strengths and virtues so that we can easily understand what does it mean and how scholars have identified various character strengths and virtues. There are various definitions, one of them is a combination of talents naturally reoccurring patterns of thoughts, feeling and behavior, knowledge effects and lessons learned and skill the steps of an activity. So, this definition is combining three main areas talents, knowledge and skills to define character strengths. Next definition says positive traits reflects in thoughts, feelings and behaviors. So, these are the traits which are positive and facilitate our positive directions thoughts, positive directions feelings, positive directions uh, behavior and that is why we count it in progressive manner. Next definition a strength is a capacity for feeling, thinking, behaving in a way that allows optimal functioning in the pursuit of value outcomes. So, again they are talking about how certain strengths could facilitate our thinking, behaving, style, feelings etcetera and they are supporting our optimal human functioning and that is why we want to have such kind of character strengths in our character or in our personality. Another definition by Govinji and Lindley, they are saying that it is understood to be natural capacity that we want to use. So, that is the capacity which we want to use in our personality, enable authentic expression and that energize us. So, these are the mediums to energize our energy to have positive direction in our behavior, in our feelings as well as in our thinking. So, these are certain definitions of character strengths. On the other hand virtues, virtues are defined as the central characteristics that have been valued moral philosophers and religious thinkers worldwide. So, virtues broadly they have borrowed Peterson and Seligman, they have borrowed from moral philosophers work as well as religious spiritual thinkers work and then they define certain virtues 
and they are saying that these are the central uh, characteristics which are very important in our past, present as well as in future. Why these characteristics are very important for us? Studies saying that they are promoting our personal well-being, they are promoting our interpersonal well-being, they are promoting our social well-being and that is why we should focus on character strengths. We should identify what are our character strengths, how we can promote them in our personality. So that is subject matter of modern positive psychologist and they are working in this direction. So because in all sectors they are promoting our well-being whether that is personal, interpersonal or social and that is why we want to have higher level of character strengths in our personality. So let us first discuss about uh, value in action inventory strengths uh, where they have identified total 24 character strengths under 6 virtues and they are saying that actually these are positive personality traits or strengths of character. Peterson and Seligman identified mainly six virtues. The six main virtues are based on an analysis and compilation of core human excellence found from histories, great philosophers, religions and traditions. So they are saying that these six identified virtues which they are discussing in their theory, in their model, they are saying that they have borrowed these six virtues as core human excellence from philosophers work from religion, from traditions and they could apply anywhere. These are not very culture specific. These uh, virtues have more universal tendency. They have emerged consensually across cultures and throughout time. So they uh, you know identified in this manner. We speculate that all these virtues must be present at above threshold values for an individual to be deemed of good character. They also mentioned that we should have above average level to maintain high level of character strengths and character strengths which could contribute to our well-being whether it is in personal or interpersonal or in social well-being manner. So they said we should have above average level to uh, maintain our character strengths and virtues, at least uh, in some of them virtues uh, as well as character strengths, our status or our level or our assessment level should be at higher direction. So let us know this model once again, however you have already seen this model. So just to know what it is and how it is working. If you just focus on this red circle, a life, pleasure, engagement and meaning. It is Professor Martin Seligman's initial model of well-being and he has mentioned that these are three component of well-being, pleasure, engagement and meaning. And these three components are directed by certain virtues and these virtues are wisdom and knowledge, justice, temperance, transcendence, humanity and courage. And each virtue has certain character strengths. What these character strengths are? For example, under wisdom and knowledge, these are creativity, curiosity, open mindedness, love of learning, perspective. For justice, it is citizenship, fairness, leadership. For temperance, for forgiveness and mercy, humanity, modesty, prudence, and self regulation. On the other hand, for transcendence, it is gratitude, hope, humor and spirituality. For humanity, there are three components or three character strengths, love, kindness, social intelligence and for courage, it is four, bravery, persistence, integrity and vitality. This model has been prepared on the basis of theoretical mode, it is not statistically proven fact. Uh, but theoretically they collected information from various sources and then they prepared this model and they said there are broadly 6 virtues and under these 6 virtues there are 24 character strengths. Let us know definition of all these virtues as well as character strengths. First virtue is wisdom and knowledge. All these virtues have certain type of strength. This is cognitive strengths that entail the acquisition and use of knowledge. So wisdom and knowledge means we acquire knowledge and we use that knowledge whenever it is required. 
and under this virtue which is mainly on cognitive strengths, it has various character strengths. First character strength is creativity. Creativity means originality or ingenuity, thinking of novel and productive way to conceptualize and do things includes artistic achievement, but is not limited to it. So, if you are at higher level on novel and productive ways to conceptualize things and artistic achievement level high we have, then we have this character strength called creativity. Second one is curiosity. Curiosity means interest, novelty seeking, openness to experiences. It means taking an interest in ongoing experiences for its own sake, finding subjects and topics, fascinating, exploring and discovering them. So, curiosity to know new things, curiosity to explore new things, curiosity to discover new things that is another strength under this virtue. Next is judgment and open mindedness. It means critical thinking. When we are saying critical thinking, it means thinking things through and examining them for all sides. And it is not you have limited information and on the basis of this limited information, you are giving a decision, taking judgment, but all uh, kind of information required to uh, have particular decision or judgment, not jumping to conclusions easily, being able to change one's mind in lights of evidence, weighing all evidence fairly. So, broadly each and every aspect of the event or situation should be pursued before taking judgment decision and that way open mindedness is required, that is another character strength. Next one is love of learning. Mastering new skills, topics and bodies of knowledge is required for this one. So, you love to learn new things, you love to explore new thing, you love to discover new thing, then love of learning is another virtue, then love of learning is another character strength which you have in your personality. Another character strength is perspective, perspective means wisdom being able to provide wise counsel to others, having way of looking at the world that makes sense to oneself and to other people. So, your ability to counsel others as well as oneself and that is your wisdom, that is your perspective. So, this way there are five character strengths under wisdom and knowledge which is directing cognitive strengths. Second virtue is that is courage. It means emotional strengths that involve the exercise of will to accomplish goals in the face of opposition external and internal. So, in this case you are standing against certain things may be internal or external and you have that courage too. And under this uh, virtue which is emotional strengths oriented, there are various uh, character strengths. First character strength is bravery or valor, not shrinking from threat, challenge, difficulty or pain, speaking up for what is right even if there is opposition, acting on convictions even if unpopular includes physical bravery, but is not limited to it. So, physical psychological bravery or when you are taking decision, when you are discussing uh, certain issues with others. So, during in all situation, if you are able to face the challenges to show uh, accurate things, that is bra bravery. Next one is perseverance, persistence and industriousness, that is another character strength. Finishing what one starts, persisting uh, in a course of action in spite of obstacles, getting in out of the door, uh, taking pleasure in completing task. Persistency means you want to do certain work in continuity. Uh, there is one term in positive psychology uh, that is recent one, grit. Grit means persistence of efforts and continuity or enduring interest. There is a term in grit where persistence and uh, interest has been counted as very important factors for success as well as for a higher level of achievements. So, that way for getting output in certain task, persistency is very important, 
continuity to do work is very important and it reflects through this character strength. Next one is honesty. Honesty means authenticity or integrity. So, when we say honesty or authenticity or integrity, it means speaking the truth, but more broadly presenting oneself in a genuine way and acting in a sincere way. Being without pretense, no uh, you know deception there, taking responsibility for one's feeling and actions. So, honesty means when you are honest with your thoughts, with your feelings, with your actions and you are showing genuine presence, not hiding anything. Next is jest, uh, vitality, enthusiasm, vigor, energy are the part of it or uh, further explanation we can say. Approaching life with excitement and energy, not doing things halfway or half heartedly, living life as, a, as an adventure, feeling alive and activated. So, that is next uh, character strength. So, here there are four character strengths under courage, which is mainly contributed by emotional strengths. Next virtue is humanity. Humanity means interpersonal strengths that involve tending to and befriending others. So, when we are dealing with others, we have friendly attitude. Uh, under this category or under this virtue, first character strength is capacity to love and be loved. Valuing close relationship with others, in particular those in which sharing and caring are reciprocated, being close to people. So, when you are loving others as well as other people are loving to you. So, that is the another character strength of our personality. Next is kindness. Kindness means generosity, nurturance, care, compassion, altruistic love, niceness. These are the component or sub components of kindness. So, doing favor and good deeds for others, helping them, taking care of them, these are the characteristics of kindness. Third uh, character strength of this virtue is social intelligence, which is again very important in which we are counting emotional intelligence as well as personal intelligence. Being aware of the motives and feelings of other people and oneself knowing what to do to fit into different social situations, knowing what makes other people tick. So, in this case actually street smartness, we can say practical intelligence, when you know how you could deal with others, even how you should deal with yourself. So, that is your social intelligence, which is combination of emotional intelligence and personal intelligence and it is more related to interpersonal strengths. So, how do you deal with others, that is main motto here for humanity and in this interpersonal strengths are top most important. Fourth virtue is justice, civic strengths that underlie healthy community life. In this category, first character strength is teamwork, which is citizenship, social responsibility, loyalty are the characteristics of teamwork. Working well as a member of a group or team, being loyal to the group. Next character strength is leadership increasing a group of which one is a member to get things done and at the same time mention good relations with the group members, organizing group activities and seeing that they happen. So, being leader you are able to take care of all other subordinates and doing good behavior with all of them. Our next virtue is temperance, it is strengths that protect against excess. To some extent, it has been borrowed from more religious literature as compared to other uh, you know virtues which may be from philosophers work. In this category, first one is forgiveness and mercy. Forgiving those who have done wrong, accepting the shortcomings of others, giving people a second chance, not being vengeful. So, forgiving and having mercy in your behavior, give second chance to the people who could not do good with you and uh, uh, you know just forgive them for yourself as well as for them. Next character strength under this virtue is modesty and humanity, letting one's accomplishments speak for themselves, not regarding oneself as more special than one is. So, modesty and humanity is another character strength.
Next is prudence, being careful about one's choices, not taking undue risk, not saying or doing things that might later be regretted. So, whatever you are doing, take 100 percent responsibility of your task and whatever you are doing and saying, there is not risky and uh, taking care of uh, your safety and all those things. So, that is another character sense called prudence. Self-regulation is another character sense under this virtue, that is self-control. Regulating what one feels and does, being disciplined, controlling one's appetite and emotions, that is self-regulation and it is part of temperance. Sixth one is the transcendence, strengths that create connections to the larger universe and provide meaning. Under this category, there are some uh, character strengths and these character strengths are appreciation of beauty and excellence like awe, wonder or elevation. Noticing and appreciating beauty, excellence or skilled performance in this category, there could be various domains from nature to art to mathematics to science to everyday experiences. So, in this area, whichever domains you have, you are appreciating and do, trying to do excellent. Next character strength under this virtue is gratitude, being aware of and thankful for the good things that happens, taking time be expressed thanks. This is very important uh, construct in positive psychology, which is being explored a lot as well as gratitude activities are being used in intervention programs also. Uh, this factor will be discussed later in detail. Next character strength is hope, optimism, future mindedness, future orientation etcetera. Expecting the best in the future and working to achieve it, believing that a good future is something that can be brought about. So, hope about future and in positive direction that is next character strength under this virtue. Humor, playfulness, liking to laugh and tease, bringing smiles to other people, seeing the light side, making not necessarily telling jokes. So, humorous style in our life that is another virtue. Like that, these are 24 character strengths under 6 virtues. And religiousness and spirituality is the last one, that is faith or purpose. When we are saying faith and purpose, it means having coherent belief about the higher purpose and meaning of the universal, knowing where one fits within the large scheme, having belief about the meaning of life that shape, conduct and provide comfort. So, that is our last character sense. So, this way they identified six virtues which they defined as well as under these six virtues 24 character strengths and then they defined all these character strengths uh, as well as they developed a psychological test. So, after identifying these 24 character strengths, they also developed scale and uh, this scale had uh, not that level of psychometric properties in the original one, but later on various scholar work on this psychological test and now this is well established test in psychology. Uh, I think it is good if we just because our next discussions again based on this model only. So, that is why if we just briefly know what are the key words of each virtue as well as uh, you know uh, character strengths in bullet points. Let us revise and it is just a revision, but uh, because we will be talking about these character strengths again and again, that is why I think it, this revision is really important for us. So, you know these are the 6 virtues, wisdom, courage, humanity, justice, temperance, transcendence and under each virtue there are some character strengths which they have theoretically explained in detail. So, first is creativity which can be identified with these three sub factors we can say or mainly these are the points, these are the explanations of creativity as per this model. Uh, originality, adaptive and ingenuity, curiosity, interest, novelty seeking, exploration, openness, judgment, critical thinking, thinking things through open mindedness, love of learning, mastering new skills and topics, uh, systematically adding to knowledge, 
perspective, wisdom, providing wise counseling, taking the big picture view, under courage, bravery, valor, not shrinking from fear, speaking up for what is right, perseverance, persistence, industry, finishing what one starts. Next is honesty, means authenticity, integrity, just vitality, enthusiasm, vigor, energy, feeling alive. On the other hand, under humanity, love, it means both loving and being loved, valuing close relationships with others, kindness, generosity, nurturance, care and compassion, altruism and niceness. For social intelligence, it is aware of the motives, feelings and knowing what makes others people tick. On the other hand, for justice, teamwork is the one character strength. It means citizenship, social responsibility, loyalty, fairness, just not letting feelings, biasness decisions about others, leadership, organizing group activities, increasing a group to get things done. For temperance, it is forgiveness. It means mercy, accepting others shortcomings, giving people a second chance. Next is humility. It means modesty, letting one's accomplishments speak for themselves. Prudence is the next character sense, careful, cautious, not taking undue risk. Self-regulation is the last one and uh, it is defined by self-control, disciplined, managing impulses and emotions. The last one is transcendence. Uh, appreciation and beauty excellence is uh, first character sense of this virtue of wonder or elevation. And next one is the gratitude, thankful for the good, expressing thanks, feeling blessed, hope, optimism, future mindedness and future orientation. Next is humor, playfulness, bringing smiles to others and light hearted. Spirituality is the last one, religiousness faith, purpose and meaning. So, this way they defined these 24 character strengths. After knowing these 24 character strengths defined by Peterson and Seligman, let us take one study from India, so that you can understand how these statements or these phrases of character strengths may be different in different cultures. For this understanding, I have taken help of one of our study character strengths valued in an Indian cultural setting, a qualitative study which was conducted by me and my student in 2009. In this study, we had uh, 400 college students and in 400 college students, a rural to urban localities we selected for these uh, participants selection, uh, boys as well as uh, equal level of girls we had. So, let us talk about locality first. In this study, we had four groups, one from rural area, second from small town, third from big town and fourth from metro city. In these sections from villages, we collected data on college students who were committing from rural areas to Rohtak for study. Uh, Rohtak, it is a, a town in Haryana. A second group was from Rohtak, the students who were staying in Rohtak only, so small town data. Then we collected data from Chandigarh, like a big city we can say, and then data from the Delhi as metro city. So broadly, we collected data from four places, from rural community, from small town participants, college students or participants who were college students. Then third group was from Chandigarh and then fourth was from metro city and we have selected equal number of boys and girls. We had here an open ended questionnaire in which we ask these questions. Identify three strengths that you possess. Second was which three qualities you would want to develop in yourself. Third question was name three important qualities that you value most in other people. And next, what qualities do you think are important to make the society better? What do you value the most in life? So, through these five 
open ended questions, we try to find out how do they define character strengths. And uh, once again I am saying we wanted to compare rural to urban localities as well as boys and girls. And you know there are two ways, one way is we just give certain statements and they are answering. So, then we cannot get unique answers. If we are giving questions related to 24 character strengths which are based on Peterson and Seligman's classification, then we could identify what is their level on these character strengths. We could not know new unique strengths. On the other hand, if we have such kind of interviews, in these interviews we have chance to get some new phrases, chance to get some new ideas about character strengths. So, that was our objective. We wanted to know what are culture specific responses. Do we have exactly same 24 character strengths in our data or are we able to get some new insight on character strengths. So, that was the way to understand how these things are happening. In analysis, we observed that and you would find some of these phrases or some of these strengths are different from 24 character strengths. So, in this study, we observed that you know area wise not uh, you know all of them because our objective was to know are these different in rural areas as compared to metro city. And later on we develop a psychological test which I will discuss uh, in next classes. So, First of all, let us know what were the villages participants responses, first females and then males. Uh, their responses were mainly you know 70 percent sample and above responses I have displayed here. For example, villages college going girls responses were hard work, self confidence, uh, determination, being dutiful. Uh, for example, ek achhi beti behen aur patni banna being helpful. For example, statement like mujhe dusron ki madad karna acha lagta hai, being sociable, main har kisi ke saath miljul kar rehna chahti hu, empathy, dusron ki bhavnao ki kadar karna, learning, respect for elders, belief in God, orientation towards the community, kuch aisa karna ki dusron ke kaam aa saku, garibon ki seva karna, orientation to our family, mata pita ki achhi santan banna etc. So, I think you can easily connect it with the uniqueness of these responses. These are quite different from 24 character strengths which are identified by Peterson and Seligman. So, that is why broadly our message is we may have universal kind of character strengths. On the other hand, if we have certain ways to explore, then we could get society focused character strengths or particular culture focused character strengths. For example, males responses were respect for elders, love, apne se badon ka aadar karna aur choton se pyar, uh, patriotism, social welfare, samaj ke liye achha kaam karna, uh, koi bhi aisa kaam karna jo jis se kisi ko nuksaan na ho, belief in God helping others, garibon ki madad karna, being sociable and friendly like uh, unity, sab ke saath mil jol kar rehna. So, such kind of responses we got in terms of character strengths. In small town responses were like unity, honesty, hard work, discipline, being helpful and kind and dusron ki seva karna, dusron ki khushi ke liye kaam karna, self confidence, sense of duty, self reliance and such kind of statements in between we, we had and we defined why we are giving this, these phrases to these sentences. So, like that uh, you know for male participants social welfare, samaj sudar was one of the response, uh, dusron ki bhalai karna mujhe achha lagta hai that was another one, being helpful, honesty, integrity, main kabhi kisi ka vishwas nahi torta, such kind of statements, attachment with others, being sociable, respect for country and that way love, fairness, sense of duty, hard work, self-discipline. So, like that there were various new character strengths themes also. In city, self-confidence, being helpful, honesty, family, friends, uh, beliefs in God, cooperation with parents etc. And uh, males responses were humor, patience, hard work, 
family, friends, self-discipline and uh, love, optimism, spirituality, intelligence, loyalty, success, etc. In Metro, it was uh, like determination, respect for elders, belief in God, optimism, self-confidence, self-esteem, being hardworking, family orientation, friendliness, honesty, patience, etc. And for uh, from male participants, responses were like tolerance, patience, honesty, determination, courage, hard working, goal oriented responses, etc. In this study, we observed that when we are moving towards rural area to metro city, then we are actually changing nature of responses. In rural areas, more V oriented responses as compared to uh, in city, I oriented or especially metro city, I oriented responses. And we also observed that rural participants or rural college going students were more collectivistic as compared to metro city uh, college students who were more individualistic in this comparison. And uh, there were no significant difference between boys and girls responses. but. I think you can easily identify these are some unique responses or unique characteristics which were not identified or which were not part of 24 characteristics. So, it means if we change this culture, we change a uh, way of uh, capturing these character strengths, then along with these 24 character strengths, we could get various other character strengths. On the basis of it, we also developed a psychological test, positive personality traits questionnaire. That is also important to discuss here because it is again talking about positive personality traits. So, in this case, we identified which are statistically analyzed as well as approved four factor solution. And in these four factors, we observed that one factor is positive self image. Positive self image, it measures participants orientation toward maintaining a positive self image. It includes looking at the self and life positively, looking at the self in relationships in a positive manner, seeing the self as flexible, emotionally intelligent, fair, spiritual, honest and self-reliant. So, when I am saying this was the definition of positive self-image, it means I am saying that question in this questionnaire are related to these phrases and questions were like that, I take pride in being who I am even if uh, others ridicule me or I strive to be a self-reliant person. Similarly, another factor was commitment. It includes the tendency to be committed towards the self in terms of beliefs and goals and to be committed towards others in relationship. It also includes the inclination to initiate action towards one's own life and in response to others. In this factor, question includes aspect to goal orientation, resilience, a desire to learn new things, independence, originality, gratitude, generosity and loyalty. And simple items were like, I believe that nothing in life can be achieved without working hard. And that way actually, it is again next character strengths or can say positive personality traits which we revealed on the basis of our previous study. Third factor was outward people orientation. This aspect measures the confidence that a person plays in himself or herself. Uh, this includes the ability to be outgoing and gregarious in social situation, a zestful approach, self esteem and the confidence to lead others. Again, 11 items this factor has and sample items were, I have a lot of self-confidence, I can inspire others to do as I say, etc. Fourth factor here was culture orientation. These items mainly look at the individual's orientation towards one's culture and country. This includes aspect of orientation towards one's traditions, patriotism and tolerance towards others. And items were like, I feel proud of my country, I value my cultural traditions. So, that way there are various ways to explore character strengths and virtues. So, lesson from this study is, however, we have well established 24 character strengths, but 
there is scope to add number of other characteristics in this list. And if we explore a particular culture, society, country or uh, a certain specific groups, then we could get new characteristics and we can add on number of characteristics in this direction. About uh, characteristics again, I usually do small small experiments in my class. For example, in one of my class, I asked students rate which character strengths you endorsed at the top and we observed that they endorsed at the highest level that is kindness, then hope, humor, creativity, love, teamwork, love of learning, perseverance, gist, social intelligence, religiousness, etc. How do they use these strengths? And again, they said kindness, for example, helping others in need and creativity, where imaginative and talented at arts, dramatics, etc. Optimism, looking at the brighter side. So, that way we can identify how people endorsed character strengths as well as how do they use in their daily life. There are various researches on character strengths and they are saying that why these character strengths are very important and how they improve our well-being as well as improve our surrounded environment. For example, this study by Kunlin and uh, his associates in 2012 showing us how if we have certain intervention programs related to uh, character strengths, then changing our uh, surrounded environment as well as participants or school students well-being. This model saying that st when students identify their own strengths during this period, use and development on strengths is the intervention strategy in which they are asking participants or school student use and develop on strengths. What are your uh, character strengths, how you can use them and how you can develop in better manner. So, through these type of strategies, they are saying that we improve mastery experiences as well as we enhance sense of self and these two factors lead to well-being. On the other hand, when we identify students observe strengths in peers. So, they in another exercise, they are saying that, okay, identify strengths in your friends, strengths in your classmate. So, during such kind of activities, they are saying that increase acceptance and regard for peers. You just imagine when you are telling character strengths of your friends, telling character strengths of your classmate. So, during this period, you have positive relationship, you have positive interaction with your friends. So, in this manner, increased peer relatedness they observed and uh, this is actually supporting a class environment also. So, you are trying to make positive supporting environment and you know supporting environment and uh, positive environment again lead to our better level of well-being. Similarly, when they ask teacher observe students strengths, that is another strategy in which researchers asked teachers to identify a character strengths of his or her class students. So, in this case again increased acceptance regard for students and increased student teacher relationship. You just imagine your teacher is talking about your character strengths. So, again that is positive atmosphere, positive environment and this uh, uh, mode helping to have increased classroom engagement as well as supportive class environment. So, this way when you are working on certain intervention programs related to character strengths, uh, you are able to increase well-being of uh, school students and increased classroom engagement as well as supportive class environment and both of them again contributing to participants or school students well-being. So, this way there are certain models in which we are using character strengths to improve well-being, to improve school environment, maybe college environment, maybe organization environment, maybe in some setting communities environment. Understanding this slide may be difficult for you, but let us take simple message only to understand how we are using character strengths in interventions.
There are various studies. In these studies, they are saying that if we have some strategies to improve character strengths or use our character strengths, then we may have better level of well-being. So, in this case, I am not uh, going with the statistical analysis and other uh, issues, but simple, simple points just to understand how character strengths could help us to have better well-being. And there are various studies, in these studies they have proved these facts and studies are like by Seligman and his associates, by Michel, by Austin, by Rust and his associates, Rashid, uh, Proctor, Seligman and Govinji and Linley. Let us take one by one uh, study and to know how these studies facilitating role of character strengths. If we talk about first study, it is conducted on general adult population, 35 to 54 years sample was there. They used happiness index and uh, in intervention they said use your top 5 strengths in new ways. So, during strategies your work is identify your character strengths and now how you can use them in better way. And that was one week intervention program and uh, follow up they took after 6 months. Next one general added population was the sample and uh, they had uh, personal well being uh, satisfaction scale, uh, emotion or positive and negative affect scales and their strategy was develop 3 of top 10 uh, character strengths. So, you know your 10 character strengths and out of these 10 character strengths develop 3 further. In the next one, the uh, intervention strategy was strengths in past and future success use top 5 strengths. So, they are instructing to use best 5 strengths. In the next one, develop a strength and a weakness or 2 strengths. So, they are instructing in intervention strategy use or develop two character strengths or work on one weakness as well as on one strength. In the another one, they are saying that use top strengths and develop one weakness. So, learn to use your strengths because that is your possession that is with you and develop one weakness also. Next strategy saying that build top 5 uh, learn new ones, recognize strength in others. So, build you know 5 character strengths and learn new way to use them as well as identify character strengths in others. The next strategy says top 5 and positive concepts they focused. In the next one you just see whole school community building, storytelling and school assemblies they had in this, uh, in this plan. So, like that in school setting there are various intervention programs. In these intervention programs they are uh, creating some strategies based on character strengths as well as in some cases on weaknesses and then they are identifying whether their happiness, whether their personal well-being, whether their life satisfaction, whether their uh, you know positive and negative effects or emotions have been improved or not. So, these are certain ways to use character strengths in intervention programs to develop further to have higher level of well-being. Now, let us know certain researches on character strengths. Character strengths are capacities for thinking, feeling and uh, willing and behaving. When expressed in balanced way, they are positive psychological components for a flourishing life. I think we have already discussed in detail about uh, such kind of definitions and how they are promoting our well-being. Character strengths as the backbone of positive psychology. I think if I just divide total section of positive psychology at least 50 percent or maybe more than that role of character strengths in positive psychology. In this research, they observed that when we compare these 24 character strengths, uh, they means Park, Peterson, and Seligman. They observed that when we have list of these 24 character strengths, these character strengths are not equally endorsed by the participants and some of them endorse more as compared to others. So, in this comparison, they identified that kindness, fairness, honesty, gratitude and judgment, these are endorsed more as compared to prudence, modesty and self-regulation. So, that is one research. Another research saying that which character sense are important for the 
achievement and when we talk about the achievements then which characteristics are contributing more as compared to others. Its hallmark or very important is perseverance. As I mentioned earlier also this is actually part of grit and it has two factors perseverance and interest. If we have persistency in perseverance as well as in interest then we are more successful we have higher level of achievement in our life. So, that is hallmark of achievement and success. On the other hand along with this perseverance some other characteristics like self regulation, hope, fairness and gratitude these characteristics also contribute to higher level of achievement as stated by these scholars. Next very important findings are as you know we mentioned that uh, there are three routes meaning route, uh, engagement route and pleasure route. Then they identified how these three routes are connected with specific character strengths and this Peterson et al 2007 study tells us the character strengths most associated with the meaning route to happiness these are spirituality, gratitude, hope, gist and curiosity. On the other hand when we talk about another route that is engagement then they are saying just curiosity, hope, perseverance and perspective are more important. On the other hand for pleasure route to happiness they mentioned that humor, gist, hope, social intelligence and love are more important. So, it means when we talk about different routes of happiness whether it is meaning, engagement or pleasure then there is combination of different character strengths which are facilitating more as compared to other character strengths. Next study is on the big five happiness strengths and various scholar identified that when we say big five happiness strengths or big five life satisfaction strengths then which are the strengths which contributing more to the happiness as well as life satisfaction. Park et al, Peterson and various other scholars identified that for big five happiness strengths top most level of character strengths are hope, gist, gratitude, curiosity and love. So, these character strengths contribute more to happiness or called as happiness strengths or life satisfaction strengths compared to rest of 24 character strengths. In this series our next topic is why are strengths important and when I am saying why are strengths important then I will take specific reference here a book average to A plus and in this book various aspects have been revealed why character strengths are important, why we should promote character strengths, what happen when we use character strengths, what happen when we use uh, weaknesses, how these are contributing to our better well being and whatever I am uh, sharing here it is based on this book only. So, first of all let us know as per this book why are strengths important. They are saying that using your strengths lead to improved individual performance that is studied by some authors, increased flexibility and openness to changes, then enhance teamwork and cooperation, openness to inclusive work and acceptance of difference, increased resilience, higher level of happiness and fulfillment and it is being passionate enough to take risk in order to use our strengths that allow us to develop and grow fastest. So, you just see these are the benefits of character strengths and this is the importance of character strengths and that is why we should promote character strengths. You just see these are the simple phrases I will say not even full sentences when we are saying study conducted by a particular group and they are saying that enhanced teamwork and cooperation or improved individual performances. But you must remember when this simple sentence or simple statement here is behind it there is a story, there is a research and research had various steps 
first of all identified problem, then reviewed the literature, then hypothesis, then study conducted, then analyzed the study, then results discussion and then conclusion. So, this statement is not a simple statement, actually it has data behind this uh, saying and uh, authentic results and reliable and valid results we have, then only scholar have uh, proposed these statements. So, these statements showing us why strengths are important, because these are improving our performance and uh, increasing our flexibility and openness to changes, uh, enhance teamwork, cooperation and various other changes, positive changes I should say we have like uh, increased resilience. Resilience means bouncing back from adverse conditions. So, when we are saying these benefits of character strengths and that is why we should deal with, we should you know facilitate research is related to character strengths. So, again I am saying this is uh, all these uh, you know statements as well as uh, next slides I think uh, 6 to 7 in all these I have taken this information from this book average to A plus realizing strengths in yourself and others uh, written by Alex Linley and this is very important book to reveal further studies on character strengths. So, uh, this slide uh, says us why character strengths are important for us and it is supported by various scholars who are saying that this way actually character strengths are important for us and we should do further research on this topic. After stating importance of character strengths, Linley focused on why we should focus more on positive character strengths or why we should focus more on the character strengths rather on weaknesses. He compared what happened when we are talking about our weaknesses, what happened when we are talking about our strengths and compared in this mode. So, in this as well as in next slide, they have mentioned that how working on weaknesses is not favorable as compared to working on character strengths and they collected data and uh, defined that what happened when we are talking about weaknesses, when we are talking about character strengths. So, this slide and the next slide that is comparison on uh, when we work on weaknesses, when we work on strengths. So, here are the sorts of observation that characterized the answers of people when they were asked to describe what they experienced when the person was talking about an area of weaknesses. They observed when people are talking about their area of weaknesses, then they are more hesitant and struggle to express themselves. Their voice sounds dejected and deflated. There is a hard emphasis on things. There are more critical and unforgiving of themselves. Their attention narrows to focus only on the problems they are talking about rather than their solutions. Their tone is heavy and self-critical and so on. So, broadly we can say during the experience of uh, uh, weaknesses or when we are talking about our weaknesses, then we have broadly negative feelings, negative emotions and uh, feeling uh, dejected and uh, with full of negative emotions etcetera. On the other hand, just opposite to it, when people are asked to switch over and talked about their strengths, these were the sort of observations that characterized them. The sound and tone of their voice changes in pitch, becoming clearer and more focused, they were more loud, they speak rhythmically, having found their own natural pace and flow. There is a sense of energy and upliftment in their voice. They seem happy and relaxed when talking, but also very energized during this period. They have great sense of confidence. They sound very authentic, honest, integrated and complete. 
they use more elaborate language and can explain things graphically. So, in these two comparisons uh, shows us we should focus more on character strengths and how we can improve those character strengths because during this process we feel happy, we feel satisfied, we feel with the abundance of positive emotions, more confident and that is why these are more important rather we work on weaknesses. Along with previous observation, they also observed, they use phrases like I love, it just fits. They are specific in their choices of words and descriptions. They demonstrate an insightful and rich knowledge of the topic. They find it easy to visualize and explain what they are talking about. The passion in their tone and voice was evident. They are fully engaged uh, with the conversation and fully uh, present with, with it. They are more likely to be uh, forward looking and optimist. So, this way uh, there are various other responses, their responses are more immediate during character strengths. So, message from this comparison when we are talking about when we are working on weaknesses, when we are working on strengths, then it shows clear cut message to us character strengths oriented researches or the facilities or the situations are better than when we are working on weaknesses. Here is some of what these independent observations noticed when people shifted to talking about strengths. It means first of all they were talking about weaknesses and then they shifted on strengths and they observed that when they shifted from weaknesses to strengths talk they observed the energy levels significantly increase, the noise level significantly increased because higher confidence was there. The exercise takes longer to stop. There is a shift in bodily postures around the room, more confident that was. People display bodily language that is much more open, engaged and confident because now you are in confidence and you are with positive mode. Now, next point is how can we identify character strengths? There are various ways. They, in some cases, they ask certain questions, they observe person's behavior, and then they try to identify how we can identify someone's strengths. There are various ways to. One is simple psychological testing. I will discuss about psychological testing later. First of all, what are the observations? How can we know uh, this person is working as per his or her character strengths? So, they have given various notions to identify character strengths. For example, a real sense of energy and engagement when using the strength. You could observe when the people are working a real sense of energy and engagement when they are working with their strengths. Second is losing a sense of time because you are so involved and engaged in the activity. So, this activity is called flow that is separate construct which I will discuss in later classes. Very rapidly learning new information, activity, approaches that are associated with the strength. Next is a repeated pattern of successful performance when using the strengths. So, when we are using our strengths, then we have more successful performance. Exemplary level of performance when using the strength, especially performance that evokes the respect and admiration of others. Always seeming to get the task done that require using strengths, prioritize task that require using the strengths over the task that do not. Feeling a hearing to use the strength while also feeling drained if you have not had the opportunity to use it for a time. So, it means when we are working as per our character strengths, we are losing sense of working and uh, still involved in the activity, we get successful output. We want to do even when we are tired and we, when we are prioritizing various activities then give importance to those activities which are as per our character strengths. So, these are the ways to know which character strengths a person has. For individual character strengths, they ask number of questions and through the answer of these questions, they try to find out what are the character strengths of a person. They may ask number of questions to identify individual character strengths. 
for example, what sort of everyday thing do you enjoy doing? The activity which they want to do, they want to enjoy. So, those activities certainly related to their character strength. What makes for a really good day for you? Tell me about the best day that you can remember having. So, it means you were doing something which was interesting, which was which you wanted to do and that is as per your character strengths. Third question is what would you describe as your most significant accomplishment? Next one is when you are at your best, what are you doing? What gives you the greatest sense of being authentic and who you really are? What do you think are the most energizing thing that you do? So, that way actually various activities, various ways to identify individuals character strengths. Some more questions related to it. Where do you gain the most energy from? From what sort of activities? What are you doing when you feel most energized? Tell me about a time when you think that the real me is most coming through. Do you have a vision for the future? What is it about? What are you most looking forward to in the future. Next question is thinking about the next week, what will you be doing when you are at your best? So, this way actually they are asking number of questions where they want to know where is your interest, what you want to do, what you have been doing in your past, what you want to do in your future, what you love to do and what you love to do even when you are tired, where you feel you are in flow. So, like that they ask number of questions and they try to find out where is your interest, where are your character strengths which are contributing to your work. So, that way they identify individual level character strengths. If we just take key notes or key points from this uh, uh, lesson, one is difference between when we are focusing on strengths as well as focusing on weaknesses. And they are saying that there is clear cut difference and that is why positive psychology is saying that we should focus more on character strengths on the positive direction because that is the possession which is with you and you have to learn to use this possession. On the other hand, when you are talking about weaknesses, first of all you have to overcome all those weaknesses, then only you can have use of that level. On the other hand, strengths that is your uh, property, that is your possession and if you learn to use them in better way, then you definitely can get better results. So, key points from this lesson is when people are talking about strengths, they are more positive, energetic and engaged and their body language is open and receptive and they are enthusiastic about the conversation. On the other hand, about the weaknesses, when people are talking about weaknesses, they are more negative, hesitant and disengaged, their energy levels drop and they appear more withdrawn. Their body language is closed and defensive and their attention focus is narrowed. So, when we say how we can assess someone's character strengths, then broadly there are two ways. One qualitative methods which I dis discussed in last two, three slides where they asked number of questions and on the basis of answer of those questions, they could identify where this person's character strengths are stronger as compared to others. So, for example, they could ask about day to day activities, uh, day to day strength sporting and individual strength assessments they could use. In this example, I think best fit is value in action inventory of strengths. Uh, this is 240 items questionnaire and it has 6 virtues and 24 character strengths. This uh, scale has been adapted in various uh, cultures, in various countries and uh, now we have its adaptation form for youths also. This scale is developed for uh, adult as well as for youths. And, uh, its psychometric properties have been tested again and again in different cultures. Uh, strengths identification approaches should combine both qualitative and quantitative approaches wherever possible because both of them have their unique research orientation. When we are talking about quantitative, it means that top down 
process and we I, I have already identified 24 character strengths and on the basis of that we are testing your level. On the other hand, in qualitative techniques we are able to get some new ideas or some unique character strengths which might not be the part of our psychological test. So, this all information was based on this book average to A plus realizing strengths in yourself and others. This book has been written by Alex Lindley. Thank you, we will keep this uh, topic continue in the next class. Mm -hmm.